Chess friends, do you know Alpha Zero with black pieces is better than white pieces, that's why I give him white pieces to play against Magnus Carlsen, Magnus and his favorite engine Alpha Zero played absolutely legendary, I mean they played Ocean of Brilliant game, Alpha sacrificed a knight at the beginning of the round, and the game was very interesting, let's go, Alpha started with e4, we have e5, knight goes to f3, knight on c6, here Alpha sacrificed his knight by capturing a pawn. I think he didn't see that the knight is guarding the pawn, ha ha ha, Alpha grabbed the center with d4, knight back to g6, Alpha played c4, grabbing the center and controlling more space because Alpha left his knight, bishop to b4 check, Alpha played bishop d2, Magnus takes the bishop, when you are piece up you should exchange all the opponent pieces with your pieces, so your opponent will not get a chance to make progress, we have queen takes d2, d6 by Magnus, knight goes to c3, knight comes to f6. Alpha played f4, the idea behind f4 is that he will push it to create space for the queen, then he will push remaining pawns on kingside, if black dare to castle short, which Magnus did in the game, short castle, ok, f5, knight back to e7, alpha played long castle, knight goes to c6, queen comes here to f4, to support the pawn from moving, h4, ok, Magnus played h6, alpha slides the king on b1 square, queen up to d7, alpha played g4, rook slides to e8, to pressure on this pawn with three pieces, so bishop to g2. To protect this pawn, knight on a5, targeting on this pawn, alpha played h4, knight takes pawn, g5, you know what you can't take the pawn, let me show you, if pawn takes happen, then pawn takes g5, you helped me to get the open f file for the rook and targeting the knight at the same time, knight back to d7, queen slides over, to checkmate you and over your game, so, on this position, Magnus played knight h5, to target the queen, queen back to f3, targeting back the knight, ok, Magnus played g5. Knight jumps into d5, the knight gets a super position and he becomes a superhero, he will take revenge for his brother knight's death, queen slides to d7, rook slides to f1, making x-ray on this pawn through the file, Magnus played c6, targeting on the knight, here alpha 0 played a brilliant move, you can pause the video and find the brilliant move for alpha, find the move, and I am drinking a cup of tea. 1, 2, ok, if you find bishop to h3, then congratulation, you are correct, you can't take the knight, let me show the variation, if pawn takes knight happen, then f takes g6, targeting the queen, queen slides to e7, pawn takes check, it's not pawn takes rook, it's queen takes knight, and your king position will be very bad, it will be minus 8 position, alpha have a 8th rank pawn supported by a rook, you position will be devastated, so, back to the position, we have rook to f8, try to protect this, pawn takes pawn. You cannot take this pawn. Because queen's battery targeting on this rook, and chess friends, if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel, then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel to get more episodes like this. Ok, Magnus played queen back to e8 because, this was also targeted by the bishop, g7, you cannot take it with your knight, let me show you if it happened then, knight f6, forking the king and queen, so, in this position, we have king takes g7, knight goes to f6, knight takes f6, queen takes check, king slides to f7, queen takes check, king slides, g6 you have to take it, otherwise alpha will checkmate you, it's like 1600 rated checkmate, so, pawn takes, rook takes check, queen takes, queen takes check, queen g7, queen e8 check, king h7, bishop takes bishop, alpha is threatening nasty checkmate, let me show you otherwise you will not understand my arrow lines, rook b8, queen to h5 check, king backs, or queen h6, if you play king back to g8, then bishop check, king slides, rook check, king here, then I will play rook check, queen takes, takes which will be checkmate in two moves, game will be over, so, in this position, if you try to play queen h6, then bishop check, king slides, rook g1 check. Your king have to escape leaving your queen, king and queen have a broken love story, then alpha will take your queen, so, in this position, 
Magnus played queen g6, offering queen exchange and protecting this square, so queen e7 check, queen blocks, queen back to d8, threatening to play bishop check, then I will capture your rook, so, king to h6, h5, d5, queen on e8, knight d6, queen e6 check, king backs, e5, knight c4, queen e8, threatening the same tactic, you are gonna lose your rook, so, king h6, a3, c5 by Magnus. Pawn takes, knight goes to e3, rook slides the way, d4, c6 you cannot take the pawn, because after queen takes check, you will lose your rook, so, we have b6 by Magnus, queen to e6 check, king h7, bishop b7, rook slides to f8, c7, and that's it, Magnus Carlsen resigned the game, I completed the game, I played rook to f1 to make a fast checkmate, rook takes, knight takes f1, bishop check, king backs, c8 check, queen blocks, queen takes queen check and mate, double queen checkmate, alpha zero style, wish you all the best. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more, bye bye take care see you soon.